All right, people, welcome back to the card review. So, uh, we looked at some of the, 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 the Kudius cards, but here is an Hermos or Hermos. I, like I said, I never watched the that series, that season of Yu-Gi-Oh, the original series. So I, I, I don't know how to pronounce these, if I'm pronouncing these. I'm not sure if it's Hermos or Hermos, like if, it's, if the H is silent, like in like the word herb. I'm not sure. But uh, we have a card. We have a Jody card. Yay, more red-eye support. And they're doing a ton of red-eye support. You know, they got, what, they got... A fusion and Xee, a ritual, just a ton of shit <coughs> for red eyes. And um, this is a Joey card, which is another red eyes card. So we're gonna go ahead and look at this card and determine whether you should run it in the red eyes deck or not and how good it is. So this is Red Eyes Black Sword Dragon. Alright, so it is a dark fusion dragon effect monster. It's level 7, 2700 attack, 2000 defense. I think that's red eyes stats. Yeah, it's red eyes stats. So, the effect is, must be special summoned with Clove, Hermos, or Hermos, or whatever. I think I'm just going to say Hermos. Yeah. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Which, in that case, Clove of Hermos is a normal spell that reads. This card is also treated as a legendary dragon Hermos. Alright. Send from your hand or your side of the field to the graveyard one monster with the same type as one type listed on a fusion monster that can't be special summoned with Clove of Hermos at that card is set, reveal it, then try summon that fusion monster, from your extra deck, you can only activate one club Hermos per turn. Alright, so, it's got Critias, except send a trap, you send a monster, that's, that's totally fine. So, uh, for the red Eyes Black Dragon Sword, you send one Dragon-type monster from your hand, or your side fell to the grave, right, it cannot be special by the way. So, starting off, much more consistent than, uh, than the Critias cards, much more, you know. Mirror Force, you only know, hit three. Mirror Force, not searchable. All right. Uh, the the Crush card, the Virus Dragon, there's only one Crush card, not searchable. With this, it's just a Dragon-type monster, any Dragon-type monster. So, you know, I'm assuming that you're going to be running this in a deck full of dragons. Bam, there you go. Yeah, you're probably going to have some dragons. You, all you need is to claw Hermos, and then, bam, you got that dragon. There you go. Here's this card. So, what's this card's effect? Its effect is, target one other monster on the field, equip this monster on the field to that target it gets a thousand attack the monster equipped this card by its effect gains sovereign attack and defense for each dragon type monster on the field or in either player's graveyard so uh at first glance this effect's actually not that bad you know it kind of has like this buster player effect so if you have another dragon if you have another monster on the field you summon this it equips to that monster the monster gets a thousand attack and then five hundred attack and defense for each dragon type monster on the field of graveyard so if you're playing a dragon deck that's very heavily uh filled with dragons, you know, maybe like the Red Eyes deck or something, then, you know, you're going to have a considerable amount of attack, so it's not terrible. What's terrible is that this effect is mandatory. You know, I did not say when this card is special summoned, you can target one other monster. No, target one other monster in the field. So, if you're going to run this card, just be careful because the effect is mandatory. Therefore, that means if this is the only card on your field and your opponent has a monster, you just equip this card to your opponent's monster. Yes, it, uh, it works like that. Yes. One other monster on the field, not your side of the field. So, like I said, you summon this, it's the only monster, its effect is mandatory, its effect will go off, it equips your opponent's monster, your opponent gains a thousand attack and five hundred attack def defense for each dragon type monster on the field, and either player's graveyard that includes your graveyard, so be careful. Be careful. You know, its effect is mandatory when it goes off, so if you don't have a, if this is the only monster on your field and your opponent doesn't have a monster, its effect will go off, but then it won't resolve. So, it'll stay a 24 monster, but pretty much, unless this card's the only monster on the field, it's not going to be its own monster, which is just kind of weird, because it just, all of a sudden, it just equips. It's like, I'm a sword now, I'm not a monster, I'm a sword. So, uh, put me in your hand, you know? I'm not really good at doing things by myself. I may have the, you know, the attack stat of Red Eyes, because why not? But, you know, I'm not going to be doing the attacking. You're going to put me in your hand, and you're going to slash some things up. And, hey, if you don't have anything to, you know, put in your hand, i got to be in someone's hand. So, hey, if i got to be in your opponent's hand and to, to beat you up as long as I'm in the hand. You know, it's like Red Eyes, Black Dragon Sword. It's like, my needs come first. I need to be a sword. That's the most important thing that comes first before even being loyal to the person who summoned me <laughs> that's how i kind of think of it as but uh overall what i think of this card i don't think it's that good uh if you're running like a red eyes deck i don't think it's worth it you know if you want to run some kind of joey you know deck devoted to joey and like oh well you know joey did it, i'm gonna do it then, then fine go ahead but if you're running like the red eyes deck i'd say it's not necessary you don't need to run this card uh you know the red eyes have a lot better support and like i said this mandatory effect hurts it way too much so, you gotta be careful. So, you gotta have a monster on the field, then summon this. Because, like I said, if you summon this and you have no monster your opponent does, you just boost it up your opponent by a considerable amount. Because I'm assuming that you're gonna have some dragons in the graveyard. You know, you probably, uh, you know, you had to send one dragon from your hand to, 
or feel to be able to even summon this. So pretty much if you equip these two opponents monsters, they're gonna have fifteen hundred attack boost minimum. So be careful with that. Be careful with that. So uh tell me what you guys think about Red Eyes uh Black Dragon Sword. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next week with some more cards to look at for card review. Alright people, thanks for watching. Yeah.